Why, hello, you amazing watchers, and welcome back to another video. Charlie here today to react to another ending for Attack on Titan. This time, Shogeki, if I am not mispronouncing that, better known as Shock, of course. This song is interpreted by Yuko Ando. Hopefully, I didn't butcher that one as well. And it's a very interesting song. Um, of course, Mappa handled the visuals for this one. We were just getting used to the change. The opening that went alongside this was My War. And it was interesting, to say the least. The song itself feels very, very much like Red Swan. Not that I'm saying like the songs are similar, but maybe the vibe they give up. Like I just heard the first couple of seconds and the... My voice is very cracky. It was quite a hard day at work today. Um, but regardless, yeah. I'll probably be able to say this better once I watch the actual song in the video. But I think I've rambled long enough. Let me pull up this video right here. Get this going. It is nice and soft how it starts, you know, sucking for piano myself. I don't know, I think this is a very nice opening. Definitely wouldn't be up there on my list of absolute favorites. It was interesting to see, especially since it was so focused on Falco. They were like, why is Falco important? We know. I know that now that I'm hearing a lot more. I mean, I still get the vibe I get when I hear Red Swan, but yeah, the songs are very different. I can't. I can't help feeling bad for poor Falco now. It didn't just use him. <laughs> poor boy. He also went through so much stuff because of Gabby. <laughs> Is this supposed to mean something when I'm seeing on screen? Yeah, I'm not getting it whatsoever. <laughs> In any ending, have they shown... Oh yeah, of course, um... You get Uno Tori. I was about to ask, has any other ending shown, like, the founder? I was like, well, I mean, technically. <laughs> but, like, this form. Aside from, you know, that one scene with the daughters and her as a titan. I don't think so. But maybe. In the past. You know, this is an interesting one. I don't really know how to put into words what I feel towards it. But it's an interesting ending nonetheless. Song's awesome, visuals are great. Um, not one of the songs that would come up easily when I'm thinking of, oh yeah, um, you, we connected through opening endings. Let me play this one, op one this opening or ending. Usually Akuman Ko would come out first under the tree. Even, oh, what was the name of the second ending? Because that's a banger as well. Or Beautiful Coral World. Yeah, I'm pretty biased towards those four songs, <laughs> you may have noticed. But anyway, thank you so very much for joining me on another video. Uh, leave a like and subscribe, those will help. In the comments, any recommendations to openings or anything you'd like me to react to. Um, year's coming to an end. Hopefully everyone's having a nice end of the year. Happy holidays in case you celebrate anything. And not many more videos left for this year. We are almost done with all the endings. 
I am recording this on the 27th, though this should have been the video for the 26th. Yeah, I'm falling behind, I know. But yeah, tomorrow should be Akumanako, as of the uploading of this video. Then, Under the Tree, Iterashai, and to you from 200 or 2000 years. And finally, the one ending I'm missing for Eminence and Shadow. And that should be all the videos for the year. And I shouldn't be behind on any of the anime that I have posted. So we can start fresh for a new year. So, thanks so much. And Charlie signs off.